We're here in Studio One with our vintage Neve console, which was designed in conjunction with Sir George Martin and Jeff Emmerich in the late 70s, and is a fairly unique combination of a very high quality vintage EQ section with very low noise and high bandwidth electronics elsewhere in the board, which is particularly good for sampling. And then when you go further back in time and get some of the other pieces of gear, like the Helios, now you're talking, that's golden territory. That's, that's the holy grail right there. And um, vintage mics. You gotta have vintage mics. So we've got the C24 here, which is a really nice balanced stereo pickup of the kit, just about six feet in front. Then we've got a pair of Coles 4038s, which are slightly grungier. They compress really nicely. They very, very different character to the, the AKG C24. And then in the back corners, we've got a pair of blue bottle microphones, which have the Perspex Sphere M50 style capsule. So lots of low end that you can get out of those. And then in addition, we've got a 5.0 array, a Decca tree with Sherps MK21s, which are wide cardioid microphones, again, Lots of low end and a nice focus from the wide cardioid pattern and a pair of Sennheiser MKH20s. When you listen to all of that, it sounded right. It had the right acoustic balance so that no matter what drum was being hit, you could vary the decay time by shutting different mics off and, and, and putting them on. I think that is critical. The idea here is to have great tube condenser mics on the top of the kit. We've got a combination of modern staples and then some much older microphones, some of which we've have had to track down. And to that end, we have two brand new reissued U67s, which are my favorite microphone overall. <laughs> but in the center, I wanted one vintage one because obviously the older the mic gets, it's a, it's a little, it's got its own little character built in. It's gone through a different mic amp to the left and right and had different EQ to add a different character and a more vintage sound. On the snare, we have a variety of three or four different mics at our disposal. We have a KM56 Neumann, which is a tube condenser mic, which is used over the snare with a fair amount of distance to give you that wonderful, fat tube condenser sound. But you can't get the mic too close, otherwise it'll overload. And then close miking, standard SU57. And then my alternative next to it would be an M160, or in some cases, the AKG D19, which is a dynamic mic. So if you imagine the M160 buyer, which is a ribbon, has a fat kind of warm, very direct sound, but the D19 is a dynamic, cheap dynamic mic that we, I used that on Mitch. I used it on many drummers in the 60s. It's a large spike in the mid-range. But if it's blended correctly, uh, you get this lovely fatness from the tube condenser and the spike from the dynamic. So that's another way to go. Hi-hats, two different mics. There's a Shure KSM-141. Overall, fatter, a more expanded, frequency response than the AKG 451, which is a brighter sounding mic. They're both printed at the same time, so you can use either or, or a combination of both. On the toms, this is more vintage stuff. The white plastic Sennheiser 421s. The new ones sound cool, but the older ones have that character, and that's what we're looking for. They fit the period, but they still sound amazing, even on today's contemporary stuff. So we've got a bunch of those for the toms. And then bass drum. Well, that's when the, you see a forest of mics down there. Because I wanted to try everything that I could from vintage to contemporary. Uh, on the vintage side, we have two AKG. One's a D12 and one's a D24. And then the granddaddy of those is the D30, which is basically two D12s stuck inside a big giant, looks like a bread loaf almost. <laughs> and then for a more contemporary sound, it's the Shure Beta 52 dynamic mic. And then inside is an SM91, which is basically a boundary mic. And sometimes I put it outside the bass drum, depending on what we're going for. So with that, 
That's, that's pretty much a lot, mate.